Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on a local host using the XAMPP server. First of all, you will need WordPress. So you go to wordpress.org slash download. I'll be providing you the link on the video. And you click on the download WordPress link and your download should start automatically. You will get a zip file and also you will need the XAMPP server for Windows. So you go to this link, the Apache friends.org slash en slash XAMPP hyphen windows dot html. I'm going to provide you the link as well. And you can see if you, if you scroll down from here, you can click on the installer file, installer link and the download should start automatically again. Now once you've actually installed the XAMPP server, you should be getting a control panel application about this size over here. And you can see your Apache and your MySQL service should already be running. Now before we actually install WordPress, we need to create a database and a user for the database. So I go to MySQL is our database so I go to the admin and when you go to the admin panel it opens up the localhost slash php my admin folder on your browser now to create the database you click on databases and you go to the option create new database and here is where you type the name that you want to give your new database. For instance, I will be giving it my WordPress. I'm going to click on create, and you can see my WordPress database has been created here and here. Now you want to go and check privileges, and you want to add a new user to your database. I'm going to give my username as new user. You can give it whatever you like. The host will, of course, be localhost because that's where you want to install your WordPress. And I'm going to leave the password field empty because I don't. Th this password field is required to enter your database, and at this moment, it's not really required. And if you scroll down, you can see the global privileges option, and you want to check them all. Just like that and you go down and click on go you can see uh, on your my wordpress database you have added a new user that is new user at the localhost database at the localhost that is now once you've done all this you want to actually install wordpress now you can see I have the WordPress zip file on my desktop. This is the file that you downloaded from WordPress directly. And I'm just going to open this. It has a WordPress folder. And I want you to install this. I want you to place this folder into the into the XAMPP folder, which is where you've actually installed XAMPP. Now I'm going to go to the XAMPP folder in my C drive and you can see a folder called htdocs inside XAM and inside htdocs you have all your content management systems and it's going to be this place where I will be placing my WordPress folder so I'll just click on OK and the extraction should put it in the htdocs folder Now it's done. Now you can actually access the folder on your browser. You just open your browser and you type in local host slash WordPress or whatever folder name you've given to your WordPress folder. Now don't worry if you get this page. You have to create a wp config.php file 
Now you can do this, you can either do this manually, uh, for that you need to go, if you want to create it manually, you need to go to your WordPress folder that is in XAMPP, see XAMPP HDDocs, and you can see I have my WordPress folder right here, and you just open the WP config sample and you edit it with whatever text editor you feel comfortable with. Now here you replace this with the database name that you gave for your database. You replace the username with the username you gave for your database. And since you didn't give any password, you just uh, remove this and your host remains the same as the local host. And I'm going to show you how to do this through the web interface. You just click on create a configuration file. Again, it's going to ask you for all this information that you had already given while creating your database. So let's go. The database name that we had given was my WordPress. And the username was new user. And I had not given a password, so I'm just going to remove that. The database host will remain localhost and you can have a table prefix if you want and submit. Alright, now you're ready to install WordPress. Now that you've actually connected the database to your localhost server, you can run the install. Now all this information is required by WordPress, so you need to give a site title. I'm going to give it as my site. I am going to keep the username as admin for now. You can give whatever username you like. And you need to give a password here. So I'm going to give a password. You will require this username and this password whenever you want to log in to the admin panel of your website, of your WordPress site. I'm just going to give an email address here and I'm going to click on install WordPress. There you go. So your WordPress has been successfully installed on the localhost. I'm just going to log in to show you. I'll go into the admin panel using the username and the password that you just gave. All right. So this is the admin panel or the dashboard or the back end of your website if you will. And you can configure your website, your content, you can add widgets and you can do all sorts of things to your website. And if you want to see what your site looks like, this is the default configuration for your site. You can of course change this however you like. I'm just going to log out of this. And whenever you want to access your site, all you have to do is go to the browser, type in localhost slash WordPress. And this is how your site looks to other people. I mean, of course, you've installed this on localhost, so this is where you can see it. And if you want to go to the admin panel again, you just add the permalink as wp-admin and it will again ask you for your admin information if you just enter and you can just log in I hope this video was useful thank you for watching